I felt God wanted nothing to do with me because all the dirt I've done in my life, all the depravity I've seen and participated in. I was a 10 when I started smoking weed. 12, 13, I probably started drinking. I remember I was 14 and it, it crushed me, but uh, we were called drinking at a school dance and I was on a wrestling team and got kicked off the team because we were called drinking at a school dance. My girlfriend at the time in high school, her dad was a president of a 1% motorcycle club. There are people that make their own law. They take care of their own backyards, take care of their own, and they really don't care about society's laws. So that introduced me to a lot of sketchy people, which uh, led, led into people from organized crime. And I mean, I was 18 and running loads of marijuana from South Florida up to Pennsylvania. I started getting into the harder drugs, started getting the crank, the meth scene, the cocaine, the hallucinogenics. And from 15 to 18, it escalated so fast that I was involved with smuggling large quantities and wasn't even aware of the repercussions should I have been caught. Feds never got me, but eventually the state did. At that point, I had always already been in and out of county prisons or jails for 20 years, never a long stay, but this one, I was 39 at the time and looking at a 20 year sentence. I was probably there for about six months and to be honest, I was out of boredom, started going to Bible studies just to get some movement because you're warehoused in a county jail, you're just sitting and waiting. I was actually reading a book by Brother Bill. Brother Bill was a one percenter, same organization that I was involved with at one time, and he's an ordained preacher up in New York now. And that just blew me away that here this guy is probably done just as much heinous things as I've done, and God is using him. I said to God, I said, you know, I, I can't do this. I just, I'm done. If you, if I am a child of yours, then show me that you want me. And I opened the book of James. And 112 just popped out. At <clears throat> that point, I knew that I was a child of God. And I dropped to my knees and I asked Christ into my life as an adult. And uh, the weight I felt, the freedom I felt was immense. I mean, so much that I can't really describe it. It's a feeling that no drug has ever given me, no bottle has ever given me. And when I got to Greater Fruit, even though the walls were 40 foot tall with barbed wire on top, 18 foot wide, that I knew I was free. I was a violent offender, so I should have been on D block, which is where they put majority of the violent offenders. But uh, God put me on A block through a typo, which is an honors block. It was majority of lifers, but that's where I met Bill. And Bill took me under his wing and made sure that my faith did not flounder or diminish while I was in prison. And he showed me that it don't matter where you are. You can be locked up for life and God still uses you. When I started looking for churches in the area that I now live, LCBC Burks came up first. I put it in non-denominational Google and there it was. So that was, a, that was a, a sign right there, I believe. And after not attending a church for almost five years, over five years, the first service I went to was a baptism service at LCBC. I have yet to be at a gathering where I haven't been fed. I mean, every week is something that I feel God is particularly talking to me and me alone. And it sounds selfish, but I mean, it, it, it's hard to wrap my head around that we serve a God that is so infinite that he can touch each and every one of us. It's not my story, it's God's story. It's God's grace, it's God's glory. I mean, God gets all the glory for everything that he has brought me out of the trenches for. 
I don't want to take credit for it. I'm just, just a vessel he used. I'm grateful for that. By sharing my story, I, I want others to know that it doesn't have to end there. This is just the beginning of what God has brought me into. My name is uh, Tom Vernelli, and I am truly a life changed by Christ.